Hi, I'm Father Eric Arnold, and welcome to Enkindle, Family Scripture Reflections. Today, we're reflecting on the readings for Sunday, May 26, 2024, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we love you and adore you, and we praise you for revealing your heart to us as we reflect on these scripture readings this Sunday when we celebrate and honor your very life. We ask you to draw us closer to each of you, to pour out your divine life more and more into our hearts and bring your word to life for us. We make our prayer with confidence in the name of Jesus, giving all of it to the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. And while a lot of our feast days celebrate events and things that God has done, like the ascension of Jesus and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost that we just celebrated, today's feast is different. It doesn't celebrate something that God has done, but who God is. He is a trinity of divine persons, but one God. The inner life of God is the communion of love shared between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Here are a few important things to remember about this. We don't confess three gods, but one God in three persons. And the three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, They don't share the one divinity among themselves as if each of them were just 33% God, but each of them is God, whole and entire. And the divine persons are really distinct from one another. So it's not like God sometimes wears a father mask and at other times wears a son mask and sometimes wears a Holy Spirit mask. No, The divine persons are really distinct from one another. Now, we would never know any of this about God except he chose to reveal it to us. That's what we hear in the first reading today that's so amazing. Moses tells the people that this has never happened before. It was never known that God would open up his heart and reveal himself in this way like he's done for us. And Moses didn't even know all that was still to be revealed fully in the coming of the Son of God, Jesus. So why does he reveal his inner life, his heart to us in this way? It's because he loves us. When you really love someone, you want them to know who you are. You want to reveal the deep parts of your heart to them. Because God is a trinity, And the divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, really are distinct from one another. That's what God's revealed to us. That means that our prayer life can connect us with each of them very personally and individually. Because God is a trinity, I can speak directly to the Father, as well as speaking directly and personally to the Son. and to the person of the Holy Spirit. So here's the main thing I I want you to, to think about on this Trinity Sunday. Does your prayer life look like that? Does it sound like that? Do you find yourself speaking in your prayer directly to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit? This is probably the area where the mystery of the Trinity becomes most concrete and real for each of us. Our prayer life should include time spent praying and speaking directly and individually to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When we pray to God, we're not just talking to God in some generic and abstract way. When I'm praying and talking with God, it must be to either the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. So does your prayer life look like that? Now, maybe you're thinking, what would my prayer life look like or sound like? 
when it's addressed specifically to the Father or the Son or the Holy Spirit? And that's a really good question. Maybe most of your life you've spent your prayer time just talking to God generically. You never even thought about this. So maybe this surprises you that you can speak directly to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So let me share a little bit about what I've noticed in my own prayer life when it comes to the Trinity. In my times of greatest need, when I feel most overwhelmed and helpless, like a little child who's just deeply aware that he's too weak and too helpless to accomplish something on his own, my prayer very spontaneously turns to the Father. Like a little child, I've noticed that I cry out to him in those times when I'm most overwhelmed and need the strength and the support of my Heavenly Father. Now, in my struggles with daily life, like trying to be as loving and forgiving and and good in my daily life as I want to be, trying to be faithful to God in the midst of sufferings and struggles and trials, in those times, I find myself speaking to Jesus the Son, knowing that he took on our flesh, that he experienced our life himself, including sufferings, trials, and temptations, and just the general weakness of being in the flesh. So I find that my heart turns to Jesus most often in those moments. There's just something beautiful knowing that Jesus the Son has been through all of this, and he knows personally and firsthand what I'm going through. Then, in moments when I'm most aware of my need for supernatural gifts, like when I desperately need to see God's hand at work or have a sense of where he's leading me in life or desperately need to hear him speaking to me through scripture or some other way, in those times, I find that I turn most naturally to the Holy Spirit. Jesus told us that the Holy Spirit would teach us and lead us and guide us and bring the scriptures to life for us. And and so it's in those moments most that I, I find myself praying and talking to the Holy Spirit. I share all of that with you because I want you to know that you can and should be talking to each of the three divine persons in your daily prayer life. As we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, we are reminded of how rich our prayer life can and should be. So on this Sunday, ask the Lord for the grace to grow in your relationship with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and ask for the gift of a prayer life that connects you with each of the three divine persons. And don't be afraid to ask the Lord for help to lead you in this. Remember that he loves you so much that he wants this for you. He's revealed his heart to you. He's shown you who he is, that he is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so don't be afraid to ask God for that grace to have a prayer life that is deeply Trinitarian. Lord, we thank you and we bless you that you have opened your heart to us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we love you because you want us to know who you are and you invite us to a deep and personal relationship with each of you. May our life of prayer reflect the beautiful mystery that we honor and celebrate today, the awesome fact that you are love itself, a communion of love shared between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.